dear Rabbi and Odette, Bracha v'hatzlacha. I hope you enjoy your retirement in good health. Enjoy your children. Enjoy your grandchildren. Enjoy your great-grandchildren. Enjoy Eretz Yisrael. Main thing is just enjoy. We will miss you. And Odette, I love you and I'll miss you and I wish you safe and happy travels. Rabbi and Odette, I want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be a working member of the Phoenix Hebrew Academy. You have truly touched the future this past 55 years, and I hope to continue that legacy. Um, enjoy Israel. Godspeed. Give best wishes to our friends, Rabbi Yenodet Rebibo. Wish them say salam shalom. Thank them for all they've done for our family. And wish you the best uh, in Eretz Yisrael. Have a safe trip. We will miss you a whole lot. And thank you so much for helping us on our journey to Torah. May all the wishes of your heart come true for the good. Bye-bye. Rabbi Yenodet. Lori and I want to wish you Hatzlacha, Bracha, good health and long life on this amazing journey you're embarking on for your upcoming Aliyah to Eretz Yisrael. May you enjoy every moment of it. We will miss you. And most of all, we thank you for everything that you've done for our community here in Phoenix and for Yiddishkeit all over the world. Mazel Tov and all the best. Rabbi and Odette have always engaged themselves with their students, with families, with the community. Once an elderly woman called the office asking for someone to help her bring in Shabbos. The Rabbi and Odette made it a priority to bring challah, candles, and wine and help this lady bring in Shabbos. That's how special they are.
Mazel Tov, Rabbi and Mrs. Rubibo. Um, we are so thankful for everything that you have done for us, myself, my wife and family, personally, and on a more broad level for the Phoenix community, of course, and everything that you have, you have done for us and helped us in our own personal growth. It's something that will live with us for the rest of our lives. We wish you tremendous bracha and hatzlacha in all that you do, and may you enjoy many, many more happy and healthy years together with your family in Eretz Yisrael. Mazel tov. Rabbi Noded, mazel tov upon your retirement. Hope that you have a wonderful time in Eretz Yisrael, and hope that we see you when we come to visit uh, the land of Israel. Mazel tov. Rabbi and Odette, we are standing before the Aron, which is one of the many things that you have built in Phoenix, an Orthodox Jewish day school, a shul, the Erev, the Vod HaKashras, Mikvah, and the JEC. These are just some of your many accomplishments. During the 55 years that you have spent here, you have been the driving force of Orthodoxy in Phoenix. May you and Odette enjoy your retirement in Eretz Israel. What you have built will never be forgotten and will be written in the annals of American Jewish history. Odette and the rabbi, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you mazel tov on your new endeavor. And you should only have a good long life, happy, and much naches from all your children. It is difficult for me to recap 52 years of friendship. You both have been a big influence in the lives of my family, from potato latkes to the education of my family to the construction of my sukkah, comforting us during difficult times and celebrating alongside us for happy occasions. You have always been there. I know this is a very exciting new start for you, my dear friends, but a very sad time for me. I will miss you dearly, though our paths shall cross again. Mazel tov, Rabbi and Mrs. Rebibo. What you've done here in Phoenix is extraordinary. You wouldn't have been able to do it without coming out here, without getting people, and your wonderful, genuine, kind nature certainly assisted in that. You should have much hatzlacha in going to Eretz Yisrael. We've come full circle. Five years ago, I came from Eretz Yisrael, and now you're going to Eretz Yisrael. Ashrach v'tayv lach. Enjoy your children, enjoy your grandchildren. A special thank you to Rabbi Rabibo for always making sure to remind me that I am the only chassid here and to make sure that I didn't just fade away into the regular crowd and lose my identity. Mazel tov. Dear Rabbi and Odette, Carol and I want to wish you a tzeskam shalom. For the past 38 years, we've been privileged to have a wonderful, warm, and meaningful relationship with you. As you embark on this new chapter in your lives, we pray that transition to Eretz Israel be an easy one and that it be filled with good health and lots of bracha.
Rabbi and Mrs. Rabibo, my family and I have a tremendous amount of hakar satilf to you for all of your hard work over the last 50 plus years and for giving us so many opportunities and so many others opportunities to build and grow and learn and become part of a family here together in Phoenix. We wish you Hatzlacha in your next journey and only the best for you and your family. Mazel tov. Rabbi Rabibo and Odette, for any matter, large or small, in Ruchnius or in Gashmius, you have been our Urim Batumim. I will never forget the time we spent having what you always describe as short meetings, which were not always short, but were always important and always interesting. For the countless times you included me as a fly on the wall in meetings with the many people from across all parts of the community who sought your input, your wisdom, and your advice. Aside from the many formal hours we spent together while you trained me, you taught me the biggest lessons by your leadership, your kindness, and your sensitivity towards others and your availability to all. Rabbi, I will try my best to carry on your legacy in many ways, but no one can replicate your ability to inspire, charm, entertain, and disarm with your distinctive wit and humor. Odette, you have always led from behind the scenes, but we have no doubt that it was your organizational skills and your ability to think ahead that have kept everything running to meet him Kisidron. Not to mention that we will always measure the neatness of our offices against the Odette standard. On behalf of Rachel, myself, and my family, we thank you for your friendship and for your investing in us with your mentorship, and we wish you bracha, hatzlacha, and much, much nachas. Thank you. 
הלוואי, ירושלים. הלוואי, נעלה יחד אל הר השם, במהרה בימינו אמן. הלוואי, ירושלים. Rabbi Berbivo is a rabbi for many, many years. And he built a community, a Yiddish community, with Mnsir Snepesh, Mam Mnsir Snepesh. And he, it's, it is my bracha that I heard he's retiring and moving to Al-Sasai, which is a blessing, a blessing for him, a blessing for the family too. that they can move into El Sassoi. It became a style that people get tired of chutzlores and move to El Sassoi. But Rebibo is taking with him a, a fortune that he accomplished in this community. In his community, he built Mamesh with the Sira Snefesh, Mamesh with Sira Snefesh. build a community out west where very few Shemetero Mitzvahs and he built with this devotion that he wants to keep up Kal Yisrael. He wants to keep up the Anoga from Yisrael and he was my Mamesh my son Nefesh many many years. Baruch Hashem lately became a community that more Torah was brought into the community and to learn more. But the rabbi deserves a credit to holding up this community of Ben Shalom. And I think he should be proud to say that I control the community and I held the community with Mesira Snefesh from Ben Shalom. A bracha is Shlatz Asasoyl and Gesunta Heit. And I know for Asasoyl, nothing better than being Asasoyl. in the Kiddush HaSat Sosoyel. Shemach Yomim B'Shonim, for many years, to be able to mashpia wherever he'll be, to mashpia in the Sosoyel also. The bracha is that he and his family should go gazun to hate and be a shining light for everybody that knew him till now, continuously. And to be a light for the Sosoyel to give him also. They also have to have a noise for them. I brought his Aslocha Rabba Aslocha Rabba.